As we wait for John Kerry, uh, let's go straight to Jerusalem, where David Rubin, former mayor of Shiloh, Israel, uh, frequent guest to the show. He's also the president and founder of the Shiloh Israel Children's Fund, uh, which, by the way, runs a therapeutic center for terror victim children in Israel. Joining us now, David, thank you so much. Um, as we wait to hear from uh, John Kerry, what I'd like you to do is explain the significance of this resolution just taken by the UN Security Council and why is it important? What could you explain that to our audience? Well, what we, what we see here is a parting shot from the Obama administration. It's uh, actually the culmination of eight hostile years towards Israel. And you would think, as a lame duck president, that, that we wouldn't see such a thing. But, uh, but Obama you know, doesn't seem to know any limits. And, and he just went forward and gave Israel a nice blast. Uh, what, what we see is that uh, mm -hmm. this resolution uh, says that, that Israel demands that Israel stop all of what they call settlement building in Judea and Samaria. They, they call it the West Bank, which is a, a fictional term, uh, not a historical term. But Judea and Samaria is the region in the central part of Israel, with Jerusalem right at its heart. And those are the areas that Obama and Kerry are demanding that Israel stop all building in. So uh, we assume that Donald Trump, based on his tweets, um, uh, is not happy with this situation. Are you confident he can block this resolution, essentially reverse what's been done? Oh, it certainly could be done. There's not, a, not even a question about that. But uh, the, the damage, though, is done. And the Palestinian Authority and, the, and their, their band of terrorists, uh, which basically, let, let, let me just point this out very clearly. The Palestinian Authority consists of the Hamas terrorist organization, the Fatah terrorist organization, and the Islamic Jihad terrorist organization. That is what comprises uh, these people who say that they want to have an independent state, uh, who, who claim that they have an independent state. In fact, I, I even heard you refer to it as Palestine, a speech about Israel and Palestine. There never was a Palestine. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, anyone who, anyone who tells me that there was a country, an independent country called Palestine, a sovereign nation called Palestine, I want them to show me who was the, the leader of that independent country. I'd like to know in what year that independent country was founded, in what year it, it uh, ceased to exist as a nation. It never was a nation. And it's all a bluff, it's all fiction, and it, it's what Newt Gingrich referred to as an invented people.